Hey guys, no speaky speaky for a long time. Hello guys, and welcome to a 2018 career mode. Yeah, obviously, most people have actually become old men, retired, and quit football, but I actually have a new and improved Arsenal team. Most of the Arsenal team have actually been sold, apart from, actually, all of them have. <laughs> apart from one person who I actually ended up buying back, I sold them their board back. But the team I have at the moment it is quite spectacular. Obviously, we've got a Felipe Ramos in goal. I do have reasons to believe this could be the Diego Alves regen. Because I got him from Valencia. All of his stats were really, really high when I actually first got him. And I don't know anything else. No, actually, no, it can't be. Because he was Brazilian and he's Spanish. Okay, that's weird. Because he was exactly like him. But he is a brilliant goalkeeper. Barcelona keep trying to purchase him. But I'm telling you, no, no. You got this original guy here from Arsenal, who I'm actually just been working out a load at the club since the album came out like years ago, and he still hasn't progressed anywhere. Another guy who I keep a free agent that I think I got this year. Uh, turns out it's amazing. I am really, really good surprise. Um, I could sell him for 12 million, and I think I got him for about 30,000. So the profit could be <laughs> fucking terrifying. This career mode, if I was to sell most of my players, I'd end up with about 200, 300 million if I really wanted to. And I could just buy out Barcelona and everyone like that. Duran here, an old Inter Milan centre back. Only here for two years, but I feel as if he's not going anywhere. He's, he's all right, but uh, he's he's happy and all that. But I'm really I want to get. I did have Papadopoulos and I did have Vincent Company back in a few years ago. Uh, they ended up getting old, so I sold them on. So now I'm having this guy, and he's he's doing the job. Jack Wilshere did actually sell him to Man City, then bought him back, and now look, he's a 90 rating. He has rocketed up. So if you are looking for an easy career mode, Jack Wilshere, Neymar, and Gertz are damn. You've just made and get and Gareth Bale buy them all nice and cheap and early, and you've just made yourself the easiest career mode possible. So his Jack Wilshere, his 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 I keep wanting to say statistics, his stats are flipping insane now. They are seriously amazing how badly, but he doesn't get all the game time in the world. So we actually do have quite a lot of players. If he's up from Real Madrid, he hasn't had much game time as well in European competition. There's one match man. He is a bit of a dirty fucker when it comes to simming matches. He's always trying to munch at the little gym, the little uh, black guy's legs and the white guy's legs. It's, it's crazy times, crazy times when he's he's out on the pitch on simming every time. He's a red card. It, it's so stupid. But he's actually, I've actually managed to get him up two ratings and he isn't really going anywhere at the moment so I'm thinking of sending him because I have so many more players. This guy, I, I don't know who the hell he is but he's a contract expiring in the year. I probably won't renew it because he's not obviously, he's 21, he's 69 but I'm not really looking for young age at the moment. I have a lot of youths as it is. Shakiri, this guy, when I saw has something special, Shakiri. I'm thinking that that guy's mine. He is mine. I am on that shit. And Michi, I just went out and bought him. I only think I think about seven million. Now he's worth seventeen million. Over the past few years, he hasn't actually obviously once again gone anywhere in his ratings. He's just been stuck at an 88. So I'm not sure if he's going to progress anymore. So I might end up selling him. I want to get an Arsenal team that's going to progress in the rankings. But he is actually having a lot of competition. Obviously, like I said, Neymar bought him for 20 odd million. No, I think 18 million. No, 56 million. Bought him as an 84 because I don't know what the hell happened to Santos. His fucking ratings were going down. And now I've got him up to a 92. It's 26 still. He's probably got another six, seven years in him. But I probably would have sold him before that to make my 50 odd million. And Andy Williams, my god, this guy is a nutter. I got him free agent, I think for a, I don't even know, but he's only here for a year. First season, I've got him up at least seven, eight ratings, and he is crazy. His st stats right there, it's done say three plus, but he's gone up so much more than that. He's been playing, I have reason to believe. This could be the regen, except a hundred times better of Gareth Bale. I'm not sure, but Gareth Bale's obviously a lead myth. But I keep saying that I have reasons to believe this, but it's for fucking shit reasons. But seriously, look, five star week, but five star skill moves. Low attack and weight, low defense. Now, I'm not sure what the hell happened there, but I've been simming the games and I haven't really been finding anything. Jovic here. 
fucking brilliant. This guy has gone up so, so much. One of the world's best now. 12 games and 25 goals. And he hasn't so much of played this season. I've been more playing another guy. Here's a guy that I've been playing. I don't lie, I don't lie. I want to put this guy alone. He isn't happy. But another player I picked up in free agent. I've been finding pace abusers. Pace abusers that are really high stats. That are young. Like 20, 18, 19. Five star skill moves again. Brazilian centre forward. Six foot two. High attacking work rate. Low. I want to get this guy alone. Build his ratings up. Get more experience. And build him on. This guy, another free agent. Absolute fucking monster. Worth 3.4 minutes. I'd say about 10. Seriously, this guy is so, so good. He hasn't really... He's more defensively minded. He doesn't really do much else. I've only been seeing him by the Sims, but he hasn't scored a single goal yet, so it's nothing really special. This guy, in fact, another free agent. He scored. He scored two goals in his Championship Cup, and he scored one in the BPL. But he only ever really comes on now and again. Carlos Suarez, this guy, he never really knew. I used him throughout a few seasons, got his ratings up. Now he's worth 12 million. I am thinking of either selling him, but then look, 18 years old, 78 overall. I think that's really quite good. I'm not an expert on career mode, but I know something that I know that's good. So I'm probably going to stick him out on loan. If you've got any advice, tell me what I should do with him. Yeah, just, I'm not selling him. I think a loan would be good for him. This guy. Uh, Lee Mendez Lang <laughs> I just seem to be expiring at the end of this year probably I don't know I might keep him he's 20 years old he's got a 71 rate and he's filled up by a free this season he's doing alright he hasn't played a single game according to this I don't know how he's gone up Daniel Boating an original Arsenal player never even heard of him in real life hasn't done anything because I've never really seen him play he probably when I delegated the match to a assistant Eden Hazard here obviously you had to get someone good so I needed a winger I needed someone who could compare with Shakiri and I ended up getting even Hazard. I was really quite surprised that I ended up, I think I picked him up for around 17 million. Now he's worth 19. Might move him on in a few years obviously because I don't want anyone over the age of 28. I don't want anyone over the age of 29 so I find it hard. To, I find it so hard to sell Ronaldo. It took me nearly a season to sell Ronaldo but he's finally sold. This guy I haven't really seen him play, but I reckon he might turn into a good goalkeeper. I believe he came from my youth system, and he's Spanish, I think? Yeah, he's Spanish. Yeah, he came from my youth system. I signed him because he had the potential of a 97, so I was like, dang! This guy, I don't know where he gets his things from. His vision seems to be good. His attacking position seems so. He seems more of an attacking Brazilian. Another person from the youth system that I haven't really used. I want to try and get these players out alone. Get their first team experience and things like that. Chuba, I believe I'm saying that right. Chuba Akpom, an actual Arsenal player. Not, not ever used him. I don't. I don't. I'm not really into using these sort of youthy players at the moment. I'm just trying to get them out of their loans. And he seems like an all right around, all right striker. I'm guessing. Another. I'm just gonna skip that guy. He's nothing special. But Adam Matthews came from Celtic. He, he seems to be doing amazing at Celtic. So I thought, fuck it. I'm gonna put a bid in for him. So I put a bid in for him. 9.5 million. Really happy with that. First game, fucking broke his tibia. So I was like pissed off with that. So he hasn't done anything. And, but his stats seem really good. Pretty solid. He's 26 and he's an 82. So I can't really see him going any higher. Mario Gertzler, on the other hand, he has gone up like a bitch. That guy is rocking them ranks out. He is rocketing up, but he seems to be getting injured a lot. He is a centre. I believe I got him from Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, they didn't sell him to anyone. And I ended up getting him to Borussia Dortmund, and I'm really, really happy that I got him. He's 25, he's 91, he's going on. And Alexandro, Alexandro, really solid. He is really attacking. I want to quickly see what he's attacking. Yep, high attacking work rate. He is really attacking down that left side, playing the balls with Neymar or whoever's on the left side at the time. He is really, really good. He's always crossing them balls in. Another person, um, I believe I got him from Athletic Athletico Bobar. This is up there, 18 million. Now look, 44 million. This guy, I never heard of him before, but he has gone up like a rocket. He is a man-made machine. He doesn't. I mainly play him in CDM, even though it says 60 CM. Well, I play him with Wilshire in the CDM because I quite like him in that position. He's an absolute beast. Thomas Enfield, another Arsenal player. Online at Blackpool getting his first team experience. Here's another player I can never say he's got him. He's been out on loan ever since 18. Now he's gone up to an 82. I'm thinking about putting him in the first team. But when Jovetic hits 29, once I've sold him, he'll be my first team striker. 
Another person online at Man City. I think that's fucking brilliant. Having someone at one known at Man City with a team they've got at the moment, I think that's amazing. But obviously, he's getting some good first game experience there. Hopefully, he's worth 40 million. He's an 82 rating, and he's a centre back. So that is really good. Here's another free agent I got. He's playing like a beast. He has got a four flipping ratings in a season. I'm probably quite happy with that at the moment. Obviously, no, actually, he's got up more than that. I think he's got about seven. So he was a 63 when I first got. He's 20 years old, so he's on loan at Hips. Switch. The next team, uh, this is a 2018 Arsenal team. The one question is, guys, would you like to see some gameplay with this team? Because obviously, come on, you got to admit, I'm going to have a load of money because now I'm back to start the next season. I'm the manager of Germany. I'm going to start a new season. I'm going to have loads of money and I'm going to be bringing in new players and stuff. Would you like to see a season in this group over for FIFA? And, and if you are a, a, a pink slip person on Xbox and would like to pink slip for these two team of season players I've actually been given by a coin company, I'd be more than happy. Just follow me on Twitter. Later on today, I'll be tweeting out. And once you've retweeted that tweet, I'll just tell whoever um, <laughs> whoever's playing me. It has to be on Xbox, though. I'm sorry, actually, like down in the old PS3, guys. But unfortunately, I only have an Xbox. So, guys, come and follow me on Twitter, and I'll actually be telling out, sh sh tweeting out when I'm actually going to do the pink slip. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you do want to see some gameplay of this team, but forever now, I love you all. Thanks for watching, and here's to FIFA 14. Cheers. See ya.